Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you the horizontal split. I've had a lot of requests for this one and it's a great crowd-pleasing move to put in a routine. Here I am demonstrating it at the park near my house. I'm also gonna show you a couple of different ways to come out of it so that you can use it as a transition in choreography. Of course, before we get started, I'll just remind you to please subscribe to my channel because I've got all sorts of tutorials and other videos all about aerial arts, plus a great community of people. So make sure that you check it out and subscribe. Let's start with some pro tips. My first pro tip is to stay as close to the top of the hoop as you can in this move. The more you sink down, the harder it's gonna be to stay in the correct position. Secondly, make sure that both of your arms are straight with your elbows nice and locked into place. Bent arms is going to make this much, much harder. And finally, try to arch back as much as you can. If you add a little back bend into this, it's going to make the whole position look more bendy and much more pretty in the air. Let's get going and break it down. Start from your double knee hang hocks position on the top bar. This is more of an intermediate advanced move, so hopefully you should already be comfortable getting into your hocks position. But if you want an idea for a way to get up there, I'm gonna link a tutorial in the description and at the top of your screen right now. Reach up with one arm and place your hand between your knees very close to the span set, touching the span set if you can. You might wanna try this with your stronger arm on top first and then of course try the other side as well. Place your other arm in the center of the hoop on the bottom and make sure that both elbows are nice and straight. Unhook the leg that will become the back leg in your split. For me, I'm doing a left split in this one so I'm going to unhook my right leg and slide it halfway down the hoop. After I've placed my first leg, I'm going to take my other leg off and slide it on the other side of the hoop and rotate my hips around to face it and come into my full split position. Pull really hard with that top arm and push the hoop with that bottom arm. This is really 90% an arm move and only a little bit a leg move. To come out of it, just lower your hips down and slightly through the hoop. Try to place the hoop either on your tailbone or your lower back, and then you can come into your nice, easy cradle position here. Another option for coming out of this move is to come into your cradle, unhook a leg, and bring it into another split position like this. You can really play with different positions coming out of it. If you wanna mix this up and show off your middle split, you can do the same move, but when you open your legs, instead of twisting your hips around to come into a square split with one leg in front, you're going to leave your hips facing the ceiling and keep your legs nice and open in your middle split. This works the same way as the normal square split version of this move, but you're going to have to pull a little bit harder with your arms and think about lifting your hips up to the ceiling as much as possible. You might also need to twist your shoulders just a little. My personal favorite is to show off my middle split, then come to the bottom of the hoop and go into a star on the bar and show off another middle split. I really like middle splits, can you tell? Here's the whole thing in real time so you can see how it works. Another way out of this is to bring your legs back up to the top and rehook into your hocks position. Unfortunately, I did not have my life together the day I filmed this, so I don't have a video of it because I completely forgot to film that one. However, it is possible, and if you wanna go up to the top bar to continue your choreography, that's a great option. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning the horizontal split and that it brings you lots of joy as you put it into your routine. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. There are a lot of them. And if you want to learn a move that I have not already done, let me know because I do take requests.